When you have a planet orbiting a star, any spacecraft in the area will experience a force of gravity from both. This combination of forces can lead to interesting orbits for these spacecraft. For example, there are five special locations, called Lagrange points, where the two forces of gravity on the spacecraft exactly cause the spacecraft to orbit the star with the same orbital period as the planet. That means the spacecraft will remain stationary compared with the planet. The first Lagrange point is located just behind the planet, where the forces combine, giving the spacecraft just enough force to rotate in sync with the planet. The second Lagrange point is located the same distance on the opposite side of the planet, where the forces slightly cancel. The third Lagrange point is located on the far side of the Sun, keeping the spacecraft perpetually hidden from the planet. The fourth and fifth Lagrange points are located along the orbit of the planet, making equilateral triangles with the star and the planet. Again, spacecraft at each of these locations will rotate in sync with the planet. Here, we've used our solar system code to set up a single star and a single planet. Here we calculate the locations of the five Lagrange points. To see where these complicated formulas come from, see the article linked in the description below. Here we create five spacecraft, one at each of the Lagrange points. Notice that we have to adjust their momenta to set them into the correct orbital pattern. Once all this is set up, we can see that the five spacecraft move in sync with the planet. Well, mostly. While all five Lagrange points offer equilibrium, only the fourth and fifth Lagrange points offer stable equilibrium. The other three are unstable equilibrium points. Any object at those locations will eventually fall out of orbit unless forces are exerted to keep them there. 